Hello! Today I will be teaching you the fastest way to remove water in Creative. I will specifically be using commands, uh, specifically the fill command. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube using sponges and blocking off sections, but that, in my opinion, takes a lot longer than this method that I have found. First off, you want to make sure you have cheats enabled on your world slash server. The fill command has a lot of different uses which are very helpful for building large objects without requiring a lot of time to build. I will only be showing off the specific replace function that this command is capable of, but if you would like a more in-depth tutorial of this slash fill command, I will link a helpful guide in the description. To start off this command, I'm not going to put a dash because you will see soon, but you want to do fill, tilde, tilde, tilde. The tilde is your relative position data corresponding to your x, y, and z position. So the first tilde will be your current x position, the second will be your current y position, and the last will be your current z position. The tilde value, aka your position, can be offset with additional numbers so it doesn't stay inside of you. For this first part, I will just offset the values by 5 in all directions, so it should now look like this. Next, we want to set an endpoint, which will still be relative to my position, but since I want it to be larger area, I will offset these tildes with negative values to form a perfect cube around my player. So it should look something like this. With that out of the way, we can now set the block we want to replace the water with, and to remove it, we will simply just put air. Next, we want to replace it, so we must put replace. After we put that, we just add water. At this point, we want to copy this command. That way we can use it later. Although this command will work on its own, as you can see, the water will quickly go into itself because it's leveled. And if you want to just do this command over and over again, it would take forever. What we really want to make this command useful is the help of a repeating command block. This thing. Although, because of this, we must rewrite our command a little bit. I won't be going into depth on all the ways a command block can be utilized, but if you're interested, I will link another video in the description. When we first open the command block, we want to write execute at, uh, then where you want this magical water remover to be, and since I want to use it, I will just simply put at P, which is the closest player. So I'll just put my name since sometimes it could be finicky. Then after my name, I want to put run, and then I want to paste the command that I copied from earlier. It should look like this. Lastly, you can check off the need, needs redstone button to always active if you want to, but I would suggest putting on needs redstone so you can put a lever on the command block so you can stop it when you are done building, like so. Now with it running, you can see the idea I'm going for here. Uh, I only want to remove the water that is within range to, and if you want to create a bigger cube of influence, all you have to do is increase the tilde's offset value. Uh, this is kind of laggy, as you can see from my screen, so required with BB computers. Well, as I go down, you'll notice a small problem with the replace command and that is that it doesn't remove the water within the tall and short seagrass. And this is really annoying to deal with because it will just keep flowing if I'm not near it. So if we go back up to our command block, we can fix these issues with additional commands. We want to copy the command we have for this block, so that way we don't have to do a lot of typing for the others. Create two additional repeating command blocks that are connected to the first one, uh, not more than two blocks away, because uh, then it won't reach with the lever. We want to paste the command we copied into this one, but edit the end part of it from water, seagrass. Okay, done. And the next command, we want to do the same thing, but instead of normal seagrass, we want to put tall underscore seagrass. At this point, you're pretty much done. Uh, you can increase the size of influence by increasing the number offset at the tilde. And if you want to remove additional items under the water that might get in the way of draining, we just add them to the command blocks. Such examples are kelp, 
and bubble columns from magma blocks. And I will show you those real quick. I'll add that right here. Bubble column. Help. And then if I go back down to these bottom areas, there will no longer be that unusual streak. Uh, for the kelp, I just do the top parts. That's technically what is defined as a kelp. If you aren't looking at the top part, this is called a kelp plant. But if you remove that instead, it creates a lot of kelp on the ground and that just increases the lag. That's essentially it. You can do this to empty out any water monument or water cave that you may have. Uh, it works very, very well. You can just walk through it and it will remove it. And that'll be all. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and much faster than the other draining methods in creative mode especially. If you did, please share and like the video to help other creative builders. Thank you and have a good one.